any reporter would just shut me out. Same with the police. Maybe they'd be able to figure all this out. But they could never stop him. I start with the paper trail. Filings, motions, patents, lawsuits. Then the medical journals. Looking for any controversy. Anything Brock might have objected to. Three days of offices, forms, and stress. Reams and reams of paper. And all of it meaningless. I'm putting together a puzzle. Wearing mittens and a blindfold. I don't know how Brock ever did it. I should have checked on Damascus. I told myself I was going to. I told myself. I... <laughs> Wait. Where? Huh. I was wondering when you'd finally turn up here to die! I'm not the one who wants you dead, Fisher. Even though I can't see much of a reason for you to live. I've read Eddie Brock's notes. Is it true? What you and the other three? What you did? You have to understand. We were under immense pressure from our stockholders. We had to deliver the next big thing. But the time it takes. So you tried to rush it through, through secretly testing it on unwilling patients? Even if it was the cure for cancer, you had no right! But a hair growth drug? How many people did you kill? How many lives did you throw away for a lifestyle drug that doesn't even work? Please. But what I really want to know is how did you get Brock to keep quiet? What did you do? Bribe him? That's the first thing they try. Of course, if you're a journalist of any integrity, you don't budge. Then they make threats. He'll be washed up, crippled, dead. And when that doesn't work, that's when they tell you they've hired a hitman to kill your wife. Understand now, Spider-Man. Gonna stop poking around in our business and let us get on with it. Brock, let's forget for a second that you were in my home. I know you're still in there. What are you doing here? You still care about your past. But the killing, that's not you. Eddie, you can stop this. You're right. I am still in here. But you're dead wrong if you think I'm not the one who wants to punish them. Now. Let us finish what we started. No. What if it was your wife they threatened? Brock. The only one here who's ever threatened my wife is you. Fine! Ugh! For a split second, I forget how fast he is. How strong! How he evades my spider sense. That split second is all I intend to give him. And again, I've never had a plan that worked, have I? Help! An electrical fire. Wonderful. <laughs> Help me! We are done with... <laughs> oh, hang on! Saved me. You... saved me. Yeah, well... I wouldn't go thanking me just yet. I get Francis Fisher to a hospital. And then... I make some calls. The first call is to the police. And the second is to Ben Urich. Four people decided that their company's profit margin was worth more than human life. What's the appropriate punishment for that? Brock thinks they should die. Not only for what they did, but for what they threatened to do. And I can't agree with that. You may think this makes us even Parker. But we are not finished with you. Not even close. Still, I guess... I guess part of me sees where he's coming from. 